I find it interesting that something started happening that I've never experienced before. Like the days you just wake up and out of nowhere you just feel like you're sad. Like you even try and sit down and you're like, okay, let me really find out why I'm sad. Why am I feeling this way? Like there are things happening. There's nothing wrong. Um, nobody has wronged you. Nothing is going wrong. Um, but you're just sad. Like you're, you're tired and sad. Um, and so one day I was talking to my friend and I was like, my guy, it's so strange. Sometimes I feel like this. And the guy goes like, that's exactly how I feel. And it's weird because um, then you're like, okay, what, what is it? Um, and for many of us, I think we need to remember that for the past couple of months, uh, 15 months or so, we've actually been fighting um, something that is strange to us. We've been in a season that we've never been in uh, before. And for me, this song that we are just about to sing is a song that I've been playing in some of those mornings or evenings um, when you're trying to sleep, but you're just, your mind is racing, your thoughts are racing. And this is a song that has pulled me through and it's reminded me that God is my peace. He's peace and he's with me, you know. Um, I like the way the song plays out. Um, and I like what it says. But it says, you will stay true even in the chaos. Your word remains truth even when my mind wrecks havoc. And I've come to discover how much your mind can wreck havoc. Like, your mind can go on a path. And you're like, how did we end up here? But this song has been reminding me that God promises that he will stay true even in the chaos. And I, he's still, I will be still and I know that all along, you're my Jehovah Shalom. You're my Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. I'm reading from the Passion Translation. It says, Don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. Tell Him every detail of your life. Then, God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. I find that this verse makes it so clear that what brings the peace of God into our lives is preceded by what it says in verse 6, that we are not pulled in different directions or worried about anything, but we are saturated in prayer every day, offering our requests before God and then telling Him every detail of our lives. It is then that it says, then the peace of God. Don't stay with your detail and then expect God's peace. Just go to God 
offer him every detail tell him how you're feeling what you're worried about what you're carrying what you're anxious about and then the peace of god that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through christ jesus may you find peace Thank <laughs> you.